Hey everybody, what's up? In today's video, we're going to bring you guys another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. And in today's tutorial, we're going to be teaching you guys how to turn your photos into sort of a comic book looking effect. So this is the final effect that I came up with. With As you can see here, it kind of looks like I'm on the front page of a comic book. We have all of the different fonts, speech bubbles, and it kind of looks like I have that kind of dotted comic book like look and feel. And I'm going to show you how I did this effect today using Adobe Photoshop version CS4. Now, I believe this will work on most versions of Adobe Photoshop. However, for today's purposes, we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop version CS4 to get the job done. And also, I posted a speed art video of me making this example over on my second channel. Feel free to go ahead and click the annotation right here to go ahead and watch that. And that will also give you guys instructions on how I did this as well. I was kind of testing it out as kind of a speed tutorial kind of concept. So definitely let me know what you guys think of that by watching that video. So let's get started with this, shall we? So I have a folder of a bunch of photos that I took to try and get a whole bunch of pictures that I wanted to use for this. And as you can see here, I wasn't very enthusiastic that day and I was kind of sitting there blank looking at the camera. But anyway, this crappy looking image of me making a weirdo smiley face is the one that we are going to be using. But however, we're gonna be taking that and making it look like this, which is a lot less weird, but still, weird nonetheless. So I have it opened in Photoshop right here and for the sake of this video I'm using the same image that I lowered the resolution on because working with these high resolution files on this computer which isn't the greatest with my recording software going is not going to be pretty and it's going to have lots of lag time. But nevertheless let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and unlock my layer over here. So now we have an unlocked layer and then we're going to go to image adjustments and then levels. And then we're going to use the levels over here to try and overexpose our image just a little bit. So I'm going to play around, maybe try that at 10, and I know I'm going to keep this at 220. And as you can see, it's a little bit overexposed, and that's what happens when we put it at 2. That's what happens when we put it at 230, 210. Uh, let's keep it at 210, actually. That seems like a fairly good amount. And I'm gonna uncheck the preview box over here. And so this is the original, and this is what we did when we overexposed it. So as you can see, we've overexposed it quite a bit, and that should work for what we need to do. The next thing we wanna do is add in a little bit of a film grain to give it that kind of comic book-like look and feel. So we're gonna to go to filter, artistic, and then film grain. And then, as you can see here, you can drag around to preview what the film grain is going to look like. And these are actually the same settings that I was using before when I used that. So over here are the settings that I used. And you can scroll around and look through the film grain and adjust the settings to get it the certain way that you want. This is how I want it for the purposes of this video. So we're going to click OK. And now you can see we have our little film grain look right there. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our layer by creating a new layer over here. And then we're going to to go to filter, pixelate, and add in a color half tone, which will give us those dots that we looked before. So let's try eight. You're going to have to do some experimentation, but once you have the dots that you want, go over here and change the blending mode to darken. And I like to lower the opacity and lower the fill to make it so that we're not just overwhelmed with dots. So as you can see, this is what it looks like with the dots now. So with the dots, without the dots. As you can see, we kind of look like we're in a comic book kind of setting. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add in some graphics. So in this example, as you can see, I added in my little monster graphic that I've had before. And I just took that graphic and did the same exact effect that we just did to it and then put it into this image. But I'm not going to go ahead and worry about that. What I'm going to worry about is all of these different text boxes up here. If you want to make it look like a comic book, you can add in some text boxes and some little speech bubbles and then just apply a comic book type font to that. So we're gonna do a really quick example. So let's go grab our, let's grab our rectangle tool. I'm gonna select the color to kind of an orangey to use that for like our title. And in the last example, I just did the date, which I actually did that example a long time ago, but I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna give this a stroke, a black stroke, maybe a little bit bigger and that seems perfectly fine to me. And then I'm going to add in another layer of text. And I have a lot of fonts on here, so it kind of freezes the computer whenever I try and select some fonts. And we're going to be using the digital strip font, which you can download from this link right here, which I'll post in the video's description. And that font is a sort of comic book script kind of font. So we're just going to type in March, what's today, the 25th? 
Yeah, March 25th, 2012. And that looks pretty good. And I am going to resize it. Not like that. And then we're just gonna place it over here and move it to around the center. And then you can experiment with adding different text boxes like that. And you can also add in some speech bubbles. So let's go over here. Here I have a little speech bubble, which is what I used in that other little example of the graphic. And I created that speech bubble in Adobe Illustrator by just sketching it out. And I actually used this little graphic to reference. And if you wanna see me do that, just go ahead and watch the speed art tutorial. But we're gonna drag that into Photoshop. And once the thing responds to me, we will drag it in here and I'll resize it and um, over here and then you can add in some more text to that and for giggles we're gonna write I don't know something like boom with a whole bunch of exclamation points and let's just drag that over there and resize it and uh, let's rotate this it's a little too big And you can experiment with a whole bunch of different other comic book fonts. You can just feel free to Google comic book type fonts and then download some. But basically that is the basics of this. And you can feel free to experiment with this, apply this to a whole bunch of different photos, add some different filters to it and make it look a little different. And then bam, you have your own little kind of comic book type of effect. And, and that is how I did it. That's how you do it. I hope this helped you out. I hope you guys got something out of this video. Thank you a lot for watching. Feel free to check out the speed art tutorial that I posted. I'm going to try to do those on the other channel every time before I post another Photoshop tutorial on here. And I'm also going to be in my next tutorial teaching you guys how to do another kind of cartoony effect to your photos, but that's going to be through a little bit of a different method. So thank you a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.